Legacy facing Abilene, their first game of the tournament. They're up 2-1 to one in the fourth inning. Runner on first, Carson Lauderdale lays down the bunt along the first base foul line. And he's past the first base before he even gets the ball. Drew Martin going over to second. And then Kane Franco. He'll try it again. Another bunt single. A miscommunication between the pitcher and infield. And back-to-back -back bunt singles have the bases loaded. Uh, Lauderdale to second. Martin over to third. And with the bases juiced, Marcus Davila hits a deep fly ball to the left center field. That gets down both Lauderdale and Martin score. Davila, though, after the run score, crucially, uh, he's going to get caught in a bit of a rundown here. Yep, he's tagged there. But he'll say it's worth it as the Rebels score two runs and they lead 4-1. to one. And then on the mound, the bottom of the fourth, yes, bottom of the fourth, Legacy was officially the road team in this one, even though their game was in Midland. Big strikeout there from Alex Melendez to end the inning. And the top of the fifth, Chase Shores at the play with a runner on first, and he sure got a hold of that pitch, depositing it in left center field, going all the way to the wall. Peyton Miller, he read the ball well, and he comes all the way home to score. Shores makes it to third, an RBI triple that makes it 5-1, to one, and it just keeps going for the Rebels. Martin bats in another run with a single to plate Shores, and Shores a nice uh, salute there. And then Lauderdale, he wanted to get back into the action, so he launches an extra base hit to left center. That was the spot today for Legacy. RBI double, Martin would come in to score. Rebels open the tournament with a dominant showing, taking the game by a final score of 12-1. to 1.